welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do a little list of my favorite things that I purchased throughout the summer of 2022. I see a lot of videos like this and I thought it would be fun to share my top picks for the summer season and what I will continue to keep with me throughout all the seasons really because I have some good investment pieces here and if you guys are looking for some staples that you feel like you could wear like for every season then totally stick around and keep watching so before we get into it please make sure that you subscribe if you like seeing fashion and lifestyle videos from me as well as come visit me on instagram and tiktok and pinterest and snapchat come say hi on all that and i'll just get started i'll start with what i'm wearing actually because these were all purchased i'm gonna assume like june july august like june is definitely summer in my opinion but i'll start with like basically everything that i'm wearing so I'll start with this bracelet that I have. You could hardly see it, but that's because I love my jewelry to be very, very dainty. Oh my god, I just realized that I'm not going to have those other pieces in here. Should I go grab them? I should go grab them. Okay, so I'm back. Anyway, going to start with the bracelet that I have on. So this is actually welded onto my wrist. She is a forever piece. It's from Catbird in New York. Of course, they have like an online website so you can shop whatever you want in their jewelry selection. But if you're in New York and you wanted to take advantage of the little like welding service that they have, then you could like pick out your chain and they will weld it to your wrist. I had a bracelet like this from Missouri and it fell off i was so sad but i just wanted something that i knew would not fall off and this was just the perfect investment for me and it's not even that expensive i think it was like a hundred or something so not that expensive if you want some real gold or silver jewelry that you know you're going to wear and you know it's going to stand the test of time and then this is why i ran off because i wanted to show you guys the stack that i have here this i've had for a while so just ignore her for a sec but this little choker here and then this lariat here i've been wanting to change up my jewelry stack for a while and we were in soho we went into one of these random jewelry stores i'll try to find the name of it i am sorry if i can't find it but i'll try to find something similar and link that if you guys want something like this super cute i thought that this was just the perfect little addition because i tend to wear very simple outfits so the way that i sort of spice it up is with accessories so that is something that is like a happy medium for me also from the same store i'm trying to not show my whole foot anyway <laughs> i got this from the same store it's just the cute little anklet i know that i've said in the past that i've heard people say that anklets are like trashy and i'm like do whatever i don't care i think they're so pretty i think they're classy as fuck so you do you anyway yeah i thought it was a super cute chain and for any shoes that like don't have a strap around the ankle i feel like this is just like a nice little like flirty touch so next on to the outfit that i'm wearing if you guys know matilda jerf then you know jerf avenue and i am obsessed with the striped set i actually had the first like original set before but then i sold it because i just didn't wear it as often but then they came out with more colors and I was like, maybe I should just try a different color. So I did. And this was like a nice little, like, I call it candy green because it just reminds me of like cute little lollipop green color. And I just thought it was super cute. I wanted to have like a classic set that was like a pastel and this was just perfect. I thought this was a nice little summer staple for anything like any casual occasion running errands going out for coffee going out for brunch next of course i always talk about aritzia and how their basics are just elite like i love them i know they're a little pricey but honestly i feel like the price matches the quality not in all cases but in most cases i believe that it does you know you could tell me what you think but with these sets in particular or if i'm wearing like really baggy jeans i love wearing like these cute little sporty bralettes i think that they're just a nice little something something i don't know how to describe it. it's like sporty chic so yeah i love wearing these cute little tops with a set or skirt jeans anything like i said before my sense of style is pretty simple so the way that i can spice it up is either like showing a little bit more skin or accessorizing and all that so this just supports my case <laughs> but that is all for what I'm wearing, let's get on to the rest of my top summer picks. I have a couple of hats. This actually came in the mail yesterday, but 
I have intentionally decided that I want to start wearing more red. I know you could probably go back in my old videos where I said I will never ever over my dead body wear red, but I kind of like it now. So I'm going to try to integrate it into my style. Not completely, I'm not gonna be like all red girl, but I just thought like, oh my God, how cute would this be with like a little like tan fit. I think that red and like cream color or like a neutral color is a nice balance of having that pop of color while also wearing something timeless. So I could totally get with that. I've seen the options and I like it. So I also just thought, you know, picking it out from Ralph Lauren, it's like a little, iconic moment going on because Ralph Lauren is timeless in my book. So next, I picked this up in like June. It's just this rag and bone bucket hat. So I've worn it a ton when I was in New York. I brought it with me to Miami. It's just a classic little bucket hat. We love her and it's like a nylon material. So I thought it was super cool. And then last is another bucket hat from Jacques Mousse. I cannot in my soul validate a $900 bucket hat from Prada as much as it would have been the vibe. The hole in my wallet would not have been. So we went with the best alternative, which, you know, I'm not upset about because this is cute. I haven't had a chance to really wear it, but literally everything from Jacques Mousse I love. So I'm definitely going to find more opportunities to wear this, especially August is like my permission to start wearing black again because like May, June, July, I want to like take advantage of like the pastel colors and all the light colors while I can. And then of course, as we get into fall, like I'm gonna go back to my black leggings and a sweatshirt vibe. So this I feel like could spice that up. <laughs> Moving on, okay. I feel like I had to include it in the top picks because it has just been the cheapest investment with the most reward. And that is a one liter mason jar with my little glass straw. I've had this one forever, but I bought the mason jar recently. Just picked it up at my supermarket. I think it was like $6. You could probably find something cheaper at a hardware store or Amazon. And this has been the best thing to make sure that I'm staying on top of my water intake goals, which is like about like three liters or something, which I think is like the average for everyone. But yeah, this is like my second one from like the whole day and sometimes I could finish like my first liter before even getting like my morning started so that has just been the ultimate difference and I tell you my skin is glowing she even I'm not as bloated at night which is so great and also like I don't know if it has a direct correlation to how much water I'm drinking but usually I want something sweet after dinner but I noticed when I started drinking three liters of water a day I'm not as tempted to have anything after dinner like I'm pretty satisfied after that so you know food for thought food for thought next okay so I know there's a lot of controversy around the airpod maxes like oh they're just for the hype oh like you're just wearing them for the outfit and I can tell you that they are all true yes Part of my buying decision was because I liked the look and thought that it would look really good with my outfits, which it does. But I have been using these every single day. I wear them to the gym. I put them on when I wanna meditate and I need absolutely no sound. This is fully noise canceling. Like it, oh. I've had plenty of noise canceling headphones in the past and these do it like none of them do so yeah i am obsessed with these and i think i get like a full week of battery from this mind you just for context i meditate for maybe 30 minutes a day and then or like 30 minutes like every other day and for every day that i go to the gym i'm in there for like an hour and a half or something so just imagine that accumulating over the course of a week and that's how much usage i get out of this so I say that it's worth the investment. It was my little gift to myself for my birthday and I don't regret a thing. Does this not go with the outfit? I'm probably screaming because I can't hear anything, but it's just so freaking cute, okay? Next, you guys have heard me talk about Mira Play. They are an investment for sure. It's not something that I would just shop from every single day. It is an intentional purchase, but you know, we love that more sustainable purchasing choices and less 
consumerism you know so i had actually gotten this style before and loved it i wore it all over europe i mean even before that i was wearing it almost every day for fashion week and it was just one of my favorite purchases from mirror play and i don't know if i had talked about it when i mentioned it in a haul this past year but i originally wanted this color but they were sold out because i sell it really fast and then they luckily had a restock and i was able to get my favorite color so if you've been on my channel before then you are familiar to the corset cover that they have on their website and guys just look at this color is this not the most prettiest green you have ever seen in your entire life okay if you've seen prettier don't tell me okay just let me be happy for a second anyway so freaking cute i haven't had a chance to wear it but i'm going to new york next week so i have an outfit already planned out for how i'm going to wear it and style it and i'm so excited because you guys are going to see um if you follow me on instagram or if you haven't go over and follow me on instagram because i'm gonna be posting with her and she's gonna look super cute everything from mirror ply i i can't like it's just so good it's all the things i'm sort of having a trend prediction stay tuned for that because i'm going to do a fall trend prediction now that we're talking about fall don't even don't even get me started on that super excited to spill the tea on that so you guys know my love for levi's jeans i've probably had the same pair of levi jeans for two years and i absolutely love them but i saw these on one of my favorite influencers this is actually super good and you can actually get it on paxson that's where i purchased them but they are just these light wash levi's they are the low pro straight i picked them out in a size 26 because i wanted them to be nice and low and then they have a basic hem and two rips on the knees i've worn this so much i wore it for my little birthday brunch and i thought it was such a cute look with the top that i paired it with next if you haven't heard of kidney girlfriend well, let me put you on because this little corset bustier i love these types of styles you wear it with a plain white tee it just spices up a basic white tee and also anything with pointel like these little roses i'm a stan i love it i think that it's the cutest thing ever and then what i loved the most about this bustier in particular was that it laces up in the back so you could really customize it to your measurements because i've had styles like these with just like hooks in the back and oh my god girl like i i be not breathing <laughs> like ribs be shutting down but we did it for the look and it was a cute look so i can't regret it but anyway so cute i love this this is like my fourth piece from kidney so everything that they make is just super cute next i feel like amazon has really come a long way in creating some really cool staple pieces like i will see a lot of people posting about just really cool pieces that they'll find on amazon so of course i gave in to some of them and this was actually something that i based off of a purchase previously with amazon but it was just this cute cream workout set that i wear constantly i love it it's like a really like nice thick ribbed material so it like cinches you in it gives you a nice little figure and it's squat proof sweat proof and i think it's like 25 dollars i'm sorry you can't argue with that i'll leave the link to that one too but the one that i wanted to mention because i bought it recently was this set here it was just this cute cobalt workout set and it was just the same material as the cream one that i have so i just knew that it was going to look good and it was going to be a nice little color because cobalt is so pretty and more from aritzia so i purchased the divinity jumpsuit back in like fall so i knew that i was already going to love the short version of it i actually have my first short version in sage green and then i saw my friend wearing the pink one when we were in miami and i was like it was like basically just copy and paste her outfit because it was just such a cute look if you guys haven't gotten it yet and you want to i would just suggest going a size down because the material is very stretchy so i just wanted to make sure that it really like cinched me in which it does like it's just the perfect fit everything about it is just so good so and then next this is another purchase that i haven't been able to wear yet just because it is so freaking hot where i live so i can't exactly wear sweatshirts yet but i knew that if i didn't purchase it it would 
most likely be sold out so i wanted to make sure that i got my hands on it before it could sell out and then not be restocked because there's been so many times where that's happened and it's so sad so yeah wanted to make sure that i got this little number another cobalt moment so cute so this is from crybaby and the best part about this sweatshirt are the words on the back some nights you dance with tears in your eyes you know, I'm a cancer queen, so I gotta be emotional, you know? I gotta be in my feels all the time. That's how I feel safe. And I know that once it starts getting colder, I'm gonna be wearing her like there's no tomorrow. Okay, so last purchase that I thought was a really good investment was actually this app. It's like a workout planner, and what you do is you put in all your metrics, so like your age, gender, height, weight, all of it, and you let them know what your fitness goals are and then they will calculate a fitness routine for you that's like personalized to you so i thought that that was really helpful because it's like i think i know what i'm doing in the gym but it's like if i'm not seeing results or i feel like i'm plateauing it's like i don't know what to do to fix that so this totally took my usual routine and turned it upside down so now i don't even work out just like one muscle at a time like i just do weight training all over so i don't know if that's right or not <laughs> i thought that that was wrong that you shouldn't do that but I feel like I'm with the mindset that it's like whatever works for your body without causing any injury to yourself or to others like it's fine it's not that deep so yeah any gym rats who want to come after me and say like no you should only be doing one muscle at a time it's like bitch I did try that and it didn't work so <laughs> okay guys so that is all on my list for best purchases for summer 2022 I really hope that you enjoyed this if you did please leave a comment below as to what your favorite piece was what your favorite summer purchase is in your own wardrobe or lifestyle because I also mentioned like some lifestyle stuff so you can let me know what you think and I will see you in next week's video. Bye!